the time to do some summons for awakening the spring of Iskaland event is here, guys. I haven't done any just yet. I mean, just one summon and I'm planning to do 40 to get 40 orbs from here. I don't think I will need the 60, honestly, because my teams are pretty spot on. I will reach the 22 millions without a problem. So uh, I'm not really stressed about it. Hopefully we're going to get a good uh, legendary now. I've tried opening for Ogo. Probably you guys uh, saw the video that I posted a few days ago. I ended up in going all the way up to 10x chances for Ogo with no Ogo. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to make up for the losses in that and we're going to get something good out of here. I'm super tempted to go for this Felosia as well because she's amazing, but I'm not going to, uh, to do it, guys. We're going to summon on the regular banner 39 summons to be more specific. And we're going to save the rest for one of the upcoming banners. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is one banner coming in pretty soon that will have pretty much all of the all of the heroes that I kind of want to get. So I would love to summon on this banner as well. You have Cinarel, you have uh, uh, Whisk as well, which are awesome, awesome legendary heroes. Then if I'm getting anything else, not a problem. In these ones, you will have to basically... Uh, summon for three different heroes on the blessing so you cannot select only one you know it's going to be different uh, i don't think it's as good for targeted hero as the previous one but either way if you are looking to get multiple ones from these banners uh, are actually not bad because you have a better chance at getting it plus these ones will drop epic chests i think if you do six or seven summons that's how it was in season two i'm not sure exactly how it's going to be in season three you're going to pick a chest uh, you're going to get a chest, sorry, and you're going to be able to pick the epic from this pool right here. We have Nathaniel, Tonalnan, Dane, some awesome, uh, awesome epic heroes in there. This is the second banner. This is not the one that I'm looking for, though. Not the one that I'm looking for, even though I would love an Asilia. I think this might be the one. So we have Losenia. Uh, is this the one? No, this is not the one either. Here we have some strong heroes as well, though. Some strong heroes, good epics, Questa. Uh, you have uh, Theoderem, which is absolutely amazing. You have Alton. Uh, a lot of uh, awesome uh, awesome heroes in there. I think I might be looking for this one right here. Now, this is still far away. It's only in, uh, in May, guys. So I'm going to have to wait a bit. And I'm going to get to save some, uh, some Heliolite in the meantime, you know. Seems like this is not the one. What, what have I looked at? Was it this one? This is the one. Okay, there we go. There we go. So here we have, uh, of course, uh, Felosia, who is on the list. The thing is, not many other awesome legendaries that you kind of like want to pick up from here. You know, like while some of them are great, don't get me wrong, Gulande and some of others are amazing. I don't think I would like to summon on that specific banner. This one right here might be a bit more appealing because you have Whisk, uh, you have, uh, of course, Evalius, you have Ogok. So I'm not sure yet what I'll be doing. Maybe I'm going to attempt on this one, considering that uh, I wouldn't mind picking up any any of one, two, three, four legendaries from here, you know? So it's a better chance at getting something that uh, that you want, you know? But either way, guys, let's uh, crack, uh, crack on with the summons. I wish you luck, because everybody that's going for this legendary will have to, uh, to summon eventually, and... Even if you're not in Season 3 going for this one, you're going to have Ardrat event in Season 2, UTR in Season 1. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we're all going to get uh, very lucky, you know. Hopefully we're all going to get very, very lucky. So we started with a rare. We have Van in here. Not, uh, not a bad rare hero, actually. She's pretty, pretty useful for the Dauntless teams, you know. Then what else we have in here? Letalis. Now, he is being used in so many different goblin teams, guys. I will have a video on some goblin teams that I've uh, actually got to uh, judge, basically, for the goblin race event, the King of the Deep tournament. And he was in every single team. The aura and everything else that he brings to the, to the fight is actually massive. A really strong, rare, uh, rare character. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, another rare just to start the day with. We got a Dubok, not a very impressive rare. I'll be, uh, I'll be very honest with you guys. I haven't really used him much. And of course, we go in with another rare. We have Adri, awesome, awesome for the recharge speed penalty right here on uh, the Chief Challenges, Chaos Shadow bosses, you know. It's, it's definitely a pretty awesome uh, rare. She's being very effective. 
very effective. So what do we have in here? Let's see. Another rare. What a surprise. We have Austin. So we are down at 37. I opened 6. Let's crack on with a few 5 pulls. Maybe that will bring us some better, some better luck, you know. Let's see. Okay, three epics. Nice. Nice. We got Gladros. Very solid, uh, very solid hero. Uh, it gives a shield. And while the shield is active, you're basically going to have immunity on all of your team. And with a uh, battle skill, he actually steals attack from the target, reducing the damage that the target can deal. And not just that, but it will be more effective when you're using uh, the Emperor sets on different characters that deal damage because you're going to weaken the attack on that uh, enemy. So he's a pretty solid one. Megan, such a beast, guys. This battle skill giving you the ultimate energy, the heal, the defense up, recovery over time, where the passive can dispel the defense penalty. She's a solid one. Uh, Nessa, I actually uh, made a guide on her in Season 2. She was very, very useful uh, for, the, for the Mecha Torque, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Uh, Goosney, for a second I thought that was Rava. And we got the uh, Ihui Castle. Ihui Castle is not a bad epic hero. I just wish it would offer a bit, of, uh, a bit more healing so we would have more support. Hopefully she will get a bit of a rebalance in the, in the future, you know. Come on, game. I hope that maybe I'm going to get two legendaries. Now, I don't care about uh, quantity as long as it's quality, you know. So if we're going to get only one, but it's a good one that we need and we don't have, or maybe a duplicate of, a, of an exclusive so we can get an artifact. I'm all in for it. Atches. You have this spell, uh, a debuff. You have recharge speed penalty, charmed, healing reduction. A pretty awesome epic. I dislike her a little bit just for the simple fact that she's melee. Fits, bringing in the clans. I feel like we're going to drop three legendaries in a five pop and that's it. Three legendaries or two legendaries in a five pop just to make up for it, you know. And we go one. What do we have? What do we have? Please be a good one. Please be a good one. Okay, we got a Stella. Oh, we got a dupe Zephy. Okay, not a bad one to, uh, to inspire. Definitely not a bad one to inspire. Zephy is the second character that can put um, some form of block damage unkillable on your team with the ultimate skill, Invincibility. Uh, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice... Uh, Nice skill together with Ogok. They are unstoppable, guys. Very, very powerful. Uh, I like, actually, Zephy quite a bit and was such a massive carry for me in Season 1 when I summoned Zephy. Unbelievable. You're getting a shield. Uh, you can use uh, different artifacts, either uh, artifacts that give you a lot of attack, like the Pipe Organ is a very good artifact for Zephy because uh, his shield will be basically uh, based of attack and enlightenment. So, yeah, Zephy, a pretty, pretty solid one. Pretty solid one. Now, of course, was a dupe, but hey, we can not complain about that because we're about to get Ogok right now. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Okay, double epic. Forget about that Ogok scratch. You're not going to get him anytime soon. <laughs> Alvis, a pretty good activator for, uh, for uh, rally heroes. Alfie, a pretty good activator for, uh, for wild heroes. Wilt, he was being used in some of the... Some of the goblin teams. Where are we so far? 26. Okay. 26. So we can do two more five pops and then we're going to do singles. I don't, I don't want to go over 40, you know. Especially that uh, I'm pretty far off from the mercy. I'm not going to hit a legendary in five extra summons or anything like that, you know. So uh, it's pretty irrelevant. I have 12,000 essence of creation. Damn. I need, uh, I need a bit more than that. I'm, I'm really short on it. This time around, okay. We got some epics. We got Rava because we were talking about uh, about the hero. There we go. Rava is a very good activator for Frost, guys. And deals decent damage. Isolde, a pretty good tank. Not one of the best tanks in the game, but it's a pretty decent one. You're getting a shield. You're getting an attack penalty. You're getting defense up, the smaller version, if you are uh, around the, the hero. Interesting passive that gives you damage reduction. So, uh, overall, not a, bad, uh, not a bad epic. And... Right now is the moment to start tapping four single pulls. We opened, uh, what, like 15 since we got a legendary, so I'm pretty far off from the mercy. Hopefully we're going to drop one right now, though. There we go, we got an epic. Turnus, I think... Okay, he's a duplicate. For a second, I thought that uh, I was missing him. I think I picked him from a chest recently because he was the only epic that I was missing in the, in the game, you know? 
he's not that crazy. Again, the main issue with him as a as a damage dealer is that he is a melee, you know, so it's a bit harder to, to keep him alive. Okay. Can we bring that Ogokom, man? Can we bring that Ogokom? Or maybe a Rook. I'll take a Rook so I can get his legendary artifact. That would that would be something uh, something good. Something good. Either way. The the summon that we got before was quality, guys. So we cannot really complain. Uh, we cannot really complain about it. So we have one more summon, and we are calling it a day. We're going to save the rest for uh, I don't know whatever banner I'm planning to to summon on or something like that. Because yeah, it seems like it's not our day today. Sabrina, a pretty good rare character. Uh, if you don't have Rook for corrosion, she's actually going to be kind of like the next best thing to activate the Corrosion on the target, converts 25% of the current Corrosion to damage immediately when the hero skills deals damage to enemies. So, there we go. That's what I got from my 40 summons, guys. How I mentioned, I will stop here. I'm still pretty far off uh, from healing the Mercy. I could probably uh, hit the Mercy with all of the summons that I have. I can get uh, 10 more from there, 13. I'll be getting pretty close to it, you know? Who knows? Maybe after I close this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna get triggered and do it later on. But for the moment, I'm not planning to. Appreciate all of you guys watching. Hopefully, you had uh, better luck than uh, I have. You know. So what I do want to do quick, guys, is let me just quickly inspire my Zephy. I'm not even sure what the first inspiration gives me on Zephy, so I'm very curious to find that out. The hero takes 20% less crit damage. Okay, and we're getting some uh, some stats. So hey, I'm a step closer to increase the chance of the battle skill effect by 25%, which is good. The real thing that you want to get is this one right here. The skill haste at uh, level 3 of inspiration. That's what will be super massive. And this one right here increases the ultimate skills initial energy by 5. This will be massive as well as the, as the last one because you're going to be able to rotate their ultimate skills much, much faster, you know. So now I have two inspired legendaries on the account, uh, Zafi and we have uh, Fenja. I'm, I managed to summon two Fenjas. There's no way in hell I'll be trading uh, one, of, uh, one of her for the artifact. She is just so freaking good, guys. Absolutely amazing. Now I could inspire her. I think I have quite a few inspirations for her. I have two right now. So I could get healing after killing an enemy and bonus damage. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can inspire, right? And after you inspire, you can actually reset the inspiration for free as many times as you guys want. You click right here and you got back the duplicate. So if you want to go later on and purchase a legendary artifact, you can always reset the inspiration, take out the soul that you uh, implemented in, uh, in the hero, and then go and purchase the, the soul that you want, basically. Uh, the artifact that you want, sorry. I just wanted to quickly share this tip with you because I just remembered that uh, uh, was a pretty, pretty discussed topic the other day on the stream. That was all for the video. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Stay safe. Peace.